Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Adam and welcome back to uh, another episode in my sim series. We're rebuilding P3D from the ground up. And today we're going to have a look at FS Global, the next generation. Um, so I've just put this mesh in. I've also applied uh, the PTA uh, little add-on. I've also put in a couple of other things like AccuFeel and RAS Professional, uh, little software things like that. Another one is Time Fixer. So welcome if you're if you're brand new to watching this. There's some free goodies in the description box below and don't forget at the end check the playlist uh, the awesome playlist up there for extra more goodies concerning this video so like I said previous video we were looking at the the night lighting and everything and um, seeing what difference the mega scenery photo reel uh, add-on route is so not much has changed in terms of adding anything through with the XML I'm still sort of burning through my mega scenery list but what I have added is the mesh um, now in Florida it's a pretty flat and barren place let's uh, let's take off into the air um, it's pretty flat and barren so there's not much difference really to see the mesh but um, as you can see 30 frames uh, the reason it was uh, lagging a bit last time was there's kind of like a procedure I like to go through whenever I install new stuff and it helps it to perform better plus also um, when I when, when when something's first installed you, you won't you might not necessarily get its best performance straight off on your first spin up of the sim because certain files need to be put into the sim or cached or put on hold before anything happens um, and then you know when you go sim in when you open up your sim the next time you'll find that it's more stable uh, once you've run it the first time so what I tend to do whenever I'm installing something brand new is I'll install run the sim for a bit not e not even take off sometimes but just load into the sim it doesn't matter what airport close the sim down and then go run my either like back when I was using Orbex Vector, it was the Orbex elevation data. But now I do Blue Marble and I run that index uh, refresh thing. And it really does help to keep everything clean. Now, as you can see, look, PTA really does put a nice spin on everything, I think. This hazing off into the distance here, the blue cast on the ground um, it really does help everything look nice and also it does help all the textures I feel as well look a lot more pin sharp than they did before which goes towards the realism I feel factor um, of course you can't really tell much about the FS global in Florida um, but I'll tell you this uh, this doesn't look too far off that uh, photo real terrain that we saw. Um, it looks pretty darn close, I feel. Um, it's only on closer inspection do you sort of see all the, the glitches in the matrix about it. But, um, you know, it's coming along really nicely, nice and sweet. Still haven't installed any aircraft or any major sceneries or airports. That's all coming a little bit down the road. Um, but what we will be doing is we will be installing um, some like Antarctica, the whole re continent of Antarctica, you know, um, the Grand Canyon, a really, really good rendition of the Grand Canyon, photo reel, you know, uh, just, just looking gorgeous basically. Um, but yeah, everything's performing well, everything's great. Whenever I use photo reel, you know, with the add-on XML route, it works for treats. Um, the first time you load it in, though, I, I must say, might not be the best time. Um, it might take a while for those, you know, BGL tiles to load. So sitting on the runway or at your uh, 
gate or wherever for a little bit might be needed. But then when you get into the air, it might slow load at first. And then when you go out of the sim and come back in again, everything looks fine, you know. Um, so don't be like disheartened and go, oh, actually, hang on, that, this, this looks pants if you've just ran it. So go back out, come back in. And I, you'll get better frames as well because you're not running Orbex Global, you're not running any vector information, you're not running any land class information, you're just running the photo scene file, the photo real files. Um, but here we're running full Orbex. We're running, well, not full Orbex, we're running Global Base, we're running the land class of uh, North America. We're running, oh, I'm, I've got Orlando, the, um, the city escape of Orlando's running, but I can't really see it in this one. Uh, we're also running the mesh. Now, one thing with the mesh I want to note, I want to uh, point out, we head into the scenery library, and we scroll down. There's something I do with the mesh, right? Um, and that is, I untick the default mesh that comes with the sim, okay? Because we don't need it if we've got this super duper one, you know, uh, one megapixel a, a mile or whatever it is um, detail uh, I untick him because we don't want it to load and I only tick as, as well as the local meshes I only tick the area that I'm flying in so I'm not flying in Antarctica Africa Europe yada 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 I'm flying in North America so therefore I only tick that mesh I only want it to load in you'll find load times are increased and smoothness of the sim is a little bit maintained better especially if you haven't got much memory i've got 16 memory my memory is absolutely fine in fact i get my computer to flush my memory every five to ten minutes and i've created a process for my computer to execute every five to ten minutes and it'll flush the cache of my memory and and reset it and it really does help to help my uh, sim run smooth in fact that'll be one of the videos I pop up in the card above so uh, go check that out after this video but it really does help um, but every now and again sometimes there is a slight pause or stutter like that and that's basically the memory emptying off it doesn't really affect the sim that much but I feel that if it didn't do it my memory could really clog up and get used very quickly um, and I just yeah I, I I feel better knowing that it's running you know so there we go right should we try and land this puppy we haven't actually tried to land uh, any of these planes when we do this so I don't know if I've I think that's my wheels coming down let me just double check I have pushed the button for him to come down and yes they have so let's uh, let's try and land this puppy yeah Let's see how we can do. And then we can hear those call-outs from RAS Professional and uh, see how well um, AccuFeel does with the default aircraft. So I don't know if we're going to make that one, to be honest. It's a little bit tricky. Um, we're too low, evidently. Okay. Striker, you're too low. You're too low. Pull up. Right. I don't think we're going to make it, to be honest. We're only got 160. Okay. I feel like we need to... Yeah, we need to pull up a bit. And I feel like I'm doing the Krypton factory. Yeah, Florida's uh, looking okay. It's a... Uh, you know, I still haven't even put any clouds or weathering, guys. This is still default skies. Doesn't look too bad. Um... I've got to remember what textures I was using for my clouds, to be fair. I had certain ones that I was using, and I can't remember for the life of me remember which ones they, that was. I don't think it saves it in any cloud, does it? No, we're not going to make it. We ain't going to make it, guys. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Come on, here we go.
Anyway, I think we got this. I don't really fly these types of planes that often, so um, it's going to be interesting to see if I can land this. Mate, them Pappy lights have told me I've been too low the entire time. I'm not sure if I'm beginning to believe you, mate. Right, here we go. I haven't even used my flaps. You know what I mean? <laughs> here we go. We're coming in 122 miles an hour. Boom. Touchdown. Crowd goes wild, man. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Right. So, that's it, guys. This, this isn't looking too bad. Um, next, we're going to be putting in uh, Rex HD Airports. So, uh, hopefully, this place will look a little bit different. Although, to be honest, it don't look too bad, to be fair. Like, oh, we're coming off the ending. Don't look too bad. So, yeah, airports, HD, Rex next. And um, soon to come, the weather. And also, a nice little surprise, guys. Once I install the weather, I do have some sky textures um, that I've hand-chosen uh, to give a really lovely naturalistic sky. Um, and a nice enhancement to this world. Um, also, global ship traffic. Um, global AI ship traffic, which covers everywhere. And gives you so many different types of ships that you'll just want to become a captain, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode. And I shall see everybody in the next one. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Whoa.